What is G04 and how do you use it? Very simple. This could go for either drilling or turning, saber rapiding, and I want to turn an OD of a part. Say, uh, let's say the part. Say it's two inches in diameter, and we're going to feed in, I don't know, we'll say five inches, and then we're going to come off the part. But say we say you wanted to stop right here with your with your tooling and just have it sit there for a minute to make sure whatever if there's buildup that break that break it free. So um, we're gonna wrap it down to here. Well, I'm not gonna go through everything. So we'll wrap it to X two point, uh, and we'll stay one hundred thousandths in front of the part. So you're actually out here. And we're going to do a feed move, which is G01. Uh, we'll go Z negative 5 inches. Uh, and a feed rate of, uh, we'll call it uh, 10 thousandths per revolution because we're on a lathe. This is where the G04 comes into play. So now, say I want it to sit there for a minute. G04. Now, how long do you want it to sit there? So we want to give it a P code. The peak value equals your seconds that you want to stay there. So, I want it to stay there, say for two seconds. So you put the P code, 2.0. So it's G04, P, 2.0 and that's going to dwell slash sit there for two seconds if you want to if you want to sit there for longer we'll say five seconds p 5.0 that's all you do or you can just sit there for one second say p 1.0 and from there, well, G01, we'll just feed off the part, say X, I don't know, 2.2, .2, uh, F10. And then from there on out, whatever you want to write, you know, that's about it. That's what all the G04 stands for. It's just a dwell. And how long you want it to sit there. That's all it is. So, okay. I appreciate you sticking around and watching me ramble on about this stuff. And uh, I hope, uh, hope that helps. Uh, be sure to check my other videos out. And um, I'll have more stuff coming up. And uh, that's it. Take care, and we'll see you again soon.